This is the uh, Sleipner field, which is in uh, North Sea. And we have been successfully putting about a million tonnes per year of CO2 in, in Sleipner since about 1996. And the, the top level you can see here is the top of the sandstone reservoir into which they're injecting the CO2. And this uh, other band down here is the, the bottom of the CO2 reservoir. And these strange stripes here of uh, blue and yellow are where the CO2 is collecting. So this is an, an actual example of storing CO2 uh, hundreds of meters below the, uh, the bottom of the North Sea. And if we imagine a sandstone as being a bit like um, a box of oranges, uh, the oranges are the, the particles of sand, and the spaces between the oranges are the spaces in which we're trying to store the CO2. The big power stations produce a lot of CO2, and uh, normally that CO2 just blows up into the atmosphere from the, the big chimneys. Um, but there's no reason why we shouldn't capture that CO2. And uh, if you were to uh, be able to fill the whole of this reservoir, which is called the Utsira sand, um, then you could put potentially thousands and thousands of power station emissions into it. Only 1% of the Utsira sand would take around the emissions of around 3,000 power stations. So it really does have an enormous capacity to take CO2. Where you've actually taken gas, natural gas, out of the ground, you take the CO2 and you squirt it down the pipes and put it back in. And if you pressure it to the same level that the natural gas was in the reservoir originally, then uh, theoretically it could stay in there as long as the natural gas stayed in there, which is millions of years. Of course this is the North Sea, so if you're producing CO2 from a power station in China or in the Gulf of Mexico, you don't want to store it there because it's so a long way So we've got to look for lots of these sites all around the world to yeah. to do this. Yeah, and we actually are doing that. Um, the BGS is a, a recognised centre of excellence for carbon capture and storage and we work all around the world. We're working in China at the moment. We've done um, studies of the capacity of rocks in India, Pakistan, Bangladesh to hold CO2. We've just finished a project in, in Ireland as well. So we are looking at the potential for rocks to store CO2 pretty well all over the world.